Ask the Nawal is back again. Any question that you'd like, we're here to uh, decipher from a uh, Nawal perspective. Yeah. Indeed. And today's question is Who is Kachara? Okay, that's a very good question. So, in the Toltec path, you actually don't see the path. There's no temples, there's no schools, there's no volunteering. So, what you have to rely on is nature. So you go out into nature first, and then the information that comes through nature, the animals, birds, plants, and particularly our power spot, then eventually it leads you to a benefactor. Now, a benefactor is a human manifestation of the path. So everyone needs to have a physical benefactor point them out as in a wall. Otherwise, you would just be wandering in nature forever and be wondering... Who am I? So when I found Kachara, it was interesting because I went into a building he was in and he stopped the lecture and he said, the Nawal has just entered the building. Like Elvis. I, um, I didn't know what that meant, but I bet. I asked him then, right, after... And he said, your luminosity. So when a benefactor sees the luminosity, the energetic field of a person potentially on the path of Tolteca, then that luminosity is validated and he bestows a magical name on you. In my case, it was Aguila, which is the eagle and that flies the furthest and sees the furthest. Being Aguila means that I am aligned with the emanations of what the Toltecs believe to be the force, not because it is an eagle, but in the beginning times it was an animal that was powerful, so they used a, a, an animal analogy for the unknown. So Kachara begins to um, ask me, what do we do next? And I said, wait a minute, if you're my benefactor, aren't you supposed to be teaching me everything now? He said, well, actually, we're flipping it around. And I suspected, because I was on the wall, that I would be now giving the instructions suddenly. And of course, I only had minimal experience. So when he asked me, what do we do now? I took him on an airplane up to Northern California to see my power spot which he validated and said there's warriors buried in the hill, there's uh, power plants here, everything you've been doing is correct. What do we do now? So well, let's go up to the cave up there and we'll invite some other people and we can have a, a, a ritual. So I take him up to this cave and this rock wall and he does a magical pass looking out over my power spot and this is a very steep rock wall. His his uh, posturing is like an eagle and it ends with a, um, a third eye sort of position like this. And he swooped down and then he came back and he looked everybody in the eyes and he said who they were. He then presented Twyla to me. It turns out that she was the one that I was to go to Mexico with and that's how we met. So the, the benefactor is bestowing is the best word bestowing the lineage on you while a teacher is telling you what the lineage is and that's Carlos Castaneda for me and my benefactor Kachara cool and if you've got questions comments or otherwise please ask it gives us material so we come back at you and you probably noticed that we have changed our uh, studio uh, to a, a, another location. Um, we did that intentionally because this is about perception and being a Toltec. So if any of you out there saw that the background has changed from our first four shows, then leave it in the comments section and um, you are beginning to be a seer.